In this video, we're going to be using 345 Soap Company Hometown and the carve with the open comb F plate. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using 345 Soap Company Hometown. This is a new release from 345 Soap Company, and I got it via his subscription service where you get it early. This will release on July uh, 10th. Let's tell you a little bit about the cost. Comes to you for $16.95 for 5.8 ounces, which is $2.92 per ounce on our cost chart, which is exceptional. This is a really good quality soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. It's the Trinity base, which is very, very nice, I think. The scent on this, when I did the unboxing, I loved it. I was sure it would be a ringer. And then I applied the splash during that, un that unboxing. And then later throughout the day, I kind of grew out of love with it. So I'm not sure this is a ringer, although I thought it was at first sniff. And that's a rare thing. There's something in this that just slightly puts it off for me now that I have it lathered and and um, after using that splash. Uh, let's put the notes for you on the screen right there. Bergamot, amber, sandalwood, peach, patchouli. It might be the patchouli, although it's not funky. It just has a darkness to it that I'm not entirely fond of. Although, like I said, during the unboxing, I thought it was a ringer and I loved it. And sort of throughout the day, I just sort of fell out of love with it. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, the razor for today is the Curve. As Justin the Red Island Shaver would say, this is the Open Comb F Plate. I really, really love this razor. It's actually a very, very good value. Uh, you can get it for about 81 US dollars. This is in brass. They have multiple plates. The plates run about $24 each. It is essential when you choose a carve razor to find the plate that you like. Uh, originally when I tried this razor, I had something like a B or C plate and I didn't like the razor. And then later Jack from the virtual groom room sent me one with uh, some higher up plates and I absolutely fell in love with this razor. One of the things that's really remarkable about this razor is the threading. It is super smooth. It's probably the the best threads that I've ever experienced on a razor. When you thread this razor or when you screw the uh, screw it down, it's just so smooth, nice, very uh, efficient shaver, but still, even for me on the F plate, I still love it. And by the way, they've made some improvements at Carve. And now on stainless steel and brass, it's usually like a day or two turnaround versus that long, long list. They still might have a list for aluminum and the exotic metals, but for stainless and brass, they're pretty much in stock now and you can get it quickly. So big thumbs up on that. That was always the complaint uh, before. So let's get into the shave today. And I, obviously I'm still gone, uh, still down in Charlotte, North Carolina. And my mother is still in the uh, hospital there. They've done a bunch of scans and they still have to do a, uh, I think a bone marrow um, biopsy. And so we're waiting on that now and hopefully she'll be able to Come home, she's doing all right. She just has no energy and her blood platelets are very high and uh, we don't really know what's going on. So we're just hoping for the best there. All right, let's get into the shave. I wanna thank you all for all the really kind words and uh, prayers and well wishes in that little update video. There was, there was just an outpouring of love there and I cannot thank you enough. It, it truly means the world to me. Um, We've certainly had a lot of uh, health issues facing our family this past year or two. And, and some good news, or a bit of good news, my mother-in-law, who was very, very ill, actually got out of the hospital yesterday, so they've made some improvement there, and I am just so grateful for that. And we're hoping the same for my mother as well. Um, so thank you so much for those well wishes, thoughts, and prayers. Um, it, it really meant the world and I was really taken aback by it to be honest with you there's, there's just so many so many good people in this hobby and I, I can't thank you enough um, all right let's get to the shave here because I'll babble all day <laughs> otherwise all right really nice lathering soap here the three four five I really love the quality of the soap it's really good in my opinion especially for what you pay very well priced very, very nice. All right, let's get to it here. Let's get down to business with our carve. The blade for today is the uh, Willys blade, which you can find at the Razor Company. I'll link all the products again below. And here we go with our F plate. I love the open comb design on that carve where they're 
rounded and not just sort of pokey and straight out and sharp. Some open comb designs are a little sharp to the touch, the teeth, not the case with this one. Rounded and very nice and I like that a lot. There's some good heft on this razor. Again, this one is uh, brass and uh, it's very nice and it is a terrific shaver. It's one of my favorite razors. Absolutely love it. Rinses really nice too. And someone made that point the other day about a hydrated lather. If you have a well hydrated lather, it will also rinse easier off your razor as soon as you put it to water that the, uh, the soap sort of rinses right off. If you have a more pasty lather, it sort of hangs in the razor and also makes it more difficult to clean once it hangs on there for a while. So there's another reason to try to get some good hydration in the, your lather, not only for the slickness of the soap, but just for ease and maintenance. It does, it does rinse easier, there's no question. And I find it to be the case both on DE razors and carts, straight razors, whatever you're using really. If your lather has good hydration, it'll rinse off easier. And so that's another bonus. Hydration is always a good thing. As long as you don't uh, wash your, your soap out, it's definitely a great thing. The scent on this soap, I, you know, it was really, I was sure it was a winner. Like I said, and then I did that unboxing a few days ago and I put on the splash and I liked it at first. And then as it went on and it hung around a good while as the day went on, I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm feeling this, you know, and it's just, it's rare for me to do that where, where I sort of fall out of love with the scent. Sometimes I'll fall, fall in love with the scent. Like I don't, maybe I'm not crazy about it at first and then I, it sort of grows on me. In this case, I grew up. <laughs> out of love with this scent. So hometown for me, uh, scent wise, is probably not a winner. I know it's not a winner. It's, like I said, there's um, there's something that I notice in it that's a little darker. Um, and it just, you know, it turns out not to be a hit. Although I, during the unboxing, I was sure it would be. So, you know, let that be a lesson to you folks. Sometimes just smelling the soap out of the tub is not the experience that you get when you actually use it and use the splash and all that kind of stuff, um, it will fully present itself to you when you use it during actual use. So always make sure to at least use it before you decide one way or another because uh, your initial impressions can turn out to be wrong. And this is one of those cases. Although the vast majority of soaps from 345 I've had, I have really enjoyed. This is sort of a rare miss. But I know he's releasing a banana one and a strawberry kiwi or something like that on June, July, excuse me, 10th. Already lost track of time. So we'll look forward to probably trying those. All right. Very good quality here, by the way. Nice hydration. And in this light here, I think it's even more difficult to, to see it than home. I was going to change the light bulbs in here, but it's sort of an older fixture and it doesn't take standard light bulbs. I ordered some from Amazon only to realize it's not the right type. <laughs> so no big deal. My mother and father will have light bulbs for a long time. The regular 60 watt light bulbs uh, to use now. So plenty for all the other lights and lamps and so on. All right, let's get to it. Pass number two. And again, I'm gonna try to keep these shaves to two passes with a little touch up because I need to get downstairs and fix breakfast for my dad and then uh, get busy with all the things I have to do. And man, this car is such a great razor. I really love it. And I prefer the, the open comb. I don't know. Just kind of like it. And with the F plate, which is high as it goes, it is uh, nice and efficient. But still to me, it still so feels smooth and not menacing, but of course, as they always say, your mileage may vary. I do prefer some blade feel. So for me, this is a, exactly where I want it. Terrific. And I also like the, uh, the high-end regular plates, I think are very good. But there's something about this open comb that I really enjoy. I'm going to do 
a little cross pass here real quick, just on that residual slickness from the 345. Very nice. Plenty of slickness there, still left over. Now, if you're new, don't do that. <laughs> but I know what I can get away with. And uh, when there's plenty of residual slickness left, and there is for me, but I encourage you, if you're new, try not to go over areas where there's no shaving soap left because it can lead to problems. But like I said, I happen to know sort of how much slickness is left and what I can get away with and what my skin will tolerate. And that really is the key in this style of shaving is figuring out what your skin will reasonably tolerate and what works best. And I'm glad I brought this razor with me. I just sort of uh, threw in a, a, a few razors that I thought I would really appreciate. And I've picked a winner with the Carve here. It is absolutely terrific. And if you look at the Carve razors when you get them, they're usually nearly flawless, if not flawless. You won't find a lot of errant marks on them or anything like that. Really terrific razor. And I have enjoyed using this one today, I'm going to tell you. It's very nice getting the job done there with no problem whatsoever. And that's what we seek to do, get a really nice, super smooth, comfortable shave. You no know, nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, and look how clean, you see how clean that rinses under that water? Again, the... The hydration in the soap keeps it from being super sticky, you know, like on the razor itself. Also makes it awfully slick. So nothing but benefits to having good hydration in your lather, in my opinion. So long as you don't go too far to the point where it's just runny and nearly translucent, um, really no downside as long as you get it right. All right, man oh man. The carve, just fantastic. Just doing a little cleaning up here because I'm not doing my normal three passes. Just a little bit of follow-up. And again, if you're new, resist doing what I'm doing. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and that is going over areas like this with no shaving soap on it. But like I said, I know I can get away with it because there's plenty of residual slickness from the three, four, five. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back on off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we used our razor rock, our travel alum stick. And I've had this for a long time, probably eight or nine years, maybe close to 10 now. It's, uh, it's kind of a nub now, but uh, it's good stuff. Anyway, following the alum, we did a uh, cool water rinse and then we toweled off before applying, this is uh, Thayer's Cucumber, uh, Witch Hazel Magic, because it's made by witches, of course. We had an excellent shave today with the Carve Open Comb F-plate, Gladius handle, by the way. This is not their standard handle. It's one that Marion uh, gifted me and it was sold at West Coast Shaving. Really, really beautiful razor, I think. I love Carve. And again, they're getting that fulfillment uh, quick now. So uh, check out Carve if you've been waiting. Really terrific razor. The brush for today, again, was the AP Shape Co. Handcrafted Series, which is the only one I brought with me. Actually, I brought another one, but it's just a travel brush. Uh, what else did we use? Oh, I forgot. 345 Soap Company Hometown. The scent, I fell out of love with it as it turns out, so it's not a winner for me, but good quality soap. I think most people will probably like this scent. And speaking of scents that I like today, the undersea, because I'm hopeful that maybe my mother will get out of the hospital, maybe, and she'll be greeted with the scent that she really loves. She loves this, and I do too. It was my favorite scent of all of last year. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is the best aquatic scent for me. Um, the best aquatic that I've ever tried. Let's go for a second round. I have to, it's just so good, so good. Oh man, wow. Again, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate it. Uh, it means the world, that outpouring of, of love, affection, well wishes, prayers. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDV, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.